Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Let's get you playing your best golf. Let's be honest with ourselves, when is the last time you actually walked off the golf course and was like, you know what, I play well there. Irrespective of score, I played well there. We want to get you back in that situation, but we obviously want to add in a bit of a better score at the same time. So we're going to be talking about this right shoulder move in the downswing and how actually this gets you working with better rotation, with more pressure into the back of the golf ball with compression. Now the best way to learn this, improve the wedges, expand it out into the long game. So talking through this move right now, I've got my noodle, my woggle, whatever we like to call it, in the ground. I think it's important that we understand what most golfers do before we just get into what we really want to do. So if you come to the down the line perspective and just watch this. Okay, so I place this noodle, or this can be an alignment stick in a basket if you're at the range, just on my right foot. Now what I see for a lot of golfers is we've really improved our backswing, but downswing, we're over and we're sort of colliding into this. Now think what that would do to your golf club. We don't want that to happen. We don't want to see that move to start that downswing. Other things that I see is this backing up and out of it and then trying to go through. Again, we don't want to see that in our golf swing. We both sort of fall into these categories and we probably fall into these categories both times. <laughs> sometimes we feel this, sometimes we feel that. So what is the feeling of what we do want to do? So I think it's best if we go through a drill and sort of how to apply this to a drill and then bring this out into actually hitting some shots away and what we can really focus on in our swing. So again, placing this just on our right foot and just outside of this as well. More alignment stick pointing out my right side to my trail side than my lead side. What I want you to do now is make a few swings trying to get the feeling of not hitting this noodle. Now you look here, what am I doing? I'm organising movement in a totally different way. I'm actually getting my left pocket to move out the way and my right shoulder to move down. Right shoulder down, left pocket out the way. Okay, come round to the face on perspective and let's just have a look what this does to that. So remember, do this with your most lofted club to begin with. This is my 58 degree most lofted club. If you don't get this right, I bet a lot of us are watching this going, you know what? My 58 goes sky high, but doesn't go anywhere, right? I had that com I had that complete feeling. I just had a lesson from, gave lesson to Paul. Can't get my words out. I just gave Paul a lesson on this exact thing. His ball was going very high. Paul plays a 10 and it's going straight up in the air. No purchase, no pressure on the ball. So have a look what this is doing. I'm going to stand in the same position I just was. I'm going to swing up. I'm going to try and avoid the noodle. Look at me now. Hands ahead, left pocket out the way, and now I've got the ability to feel this pressure. I'm not up, and I'm not over. So I think if you can build this into your golf game, the best way to do that is, is really just, actually, probably at home, if you've not got this or an alignment stick or anything to put it in, get near a wall and get that feeling of working the alignment stick more down. So how does this all work in a pitch shot? And then how do we now take it out to a longer shot? This is what we want to be able to do. We want to be able to do it on longer shots because at the end of the day, it feels so pure. I think a lot of us have sort of forgotten that feeling of when we hit it, we don't feel any contact. We've sort of got used to medial contact and we don't want that. So if I'm going to bring this into my game, this is how I want you to do it. I've got a short shot, so I'm going to be a little bit left side. I'm going to leave that weight there. I want you to stand there, up, bring it in, through and you'll notice if you look at my shoulders they're moving through on an angle they're not moving through level and they're not falling back they're sort of moving through that same area if we kept that really nice simple analogy they're moving through that same area so hitting a shot away I want you to focus on those shoulders moving through in that same area and pose that finish okay Hit two or three away because if you're at a range now and you're warming up you need to find a way to take feelings from a short warm-up shot to a seven iron then into a driver it's really important that you warm up correctly so use this as part of your warm-up if you want to so feel it again shoulders stay in the same space 
we all get a feeling. Look at my position that I'm in. Now comes the face on perspective and see me hit this one. I really certainly mm -hmm. feel as though I'm more this way into the golf ball and that's where we want to be. That's the positions we've all been searching for. Not over and certainly not standing up. They're the two aspects we have got to get out of our game. So final shot with a short one and let's build it into a long one. So if, if you look at yourself there, I've got so much sort of perch on the ball. I've created a ball then divot contact, everything that we've been wanting to search for, but I've done it in a nice simple analogy. So let's now take this into a seven iron. And first and foremost, what I would do is I'd place salamity across my chest and reevaluate quickly and re, re sort of realign ourselves what club we've got in our hand. Possibly go back to the noodle, get a feeling of it with the noodle and then come back to this. So across our chest, moving it to the top, moving it down. So I want you to feel, this is a feeling, that the alignment stick angle and the golf shaft angle are the same. Not like this, these are different. Have a look from the down the line perspective. Really important that we get this understanding. Make them as close as we can match, not be different. So watch, for exaggerating this drill, close as we can match, not different, standing up, and not different again. Most people, we cook at impact, we draw a line through our golf club now, and a lot of us, we'd see this club get so much taller. Toe would be down, shaft angle actually gets steeper, and that's us releasing it, thrown out of the way, rather than feeling that pressure. So your first shot I want you to do is just really feel these positions. In, pose, and I want you just to start off by hitting some three-quarter seven irons, exactly as I did there. Now, obviously, I can't hit three-quarter here, guys, but I can certainly hit a little one for us. I'm going to grip down. I'm going to feel the same positions. So if you look at this in slow motion, now I'll put a slow motion one over this. You can see how my shoulders are working through nicely in the same. My left hip's moving out the way. A simple way to get that feeling of driving down into the golf ball rather than going up. And all I would feel at impact, simple, sorts. Can my shoulder line be closely matched to my shaft line? In reality, it's not, but it's certainly gonna be closer than this and be closer than this. Can we feel this pressure? And that's how we can get nice strikes, nice compression. I really hope you enjoyed that video today. If you did, as I always say, I really need you to do this. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.